chop liver? No, no. Oh no, no, seriously. You killed the mouse. No, he didn't. Yeah. Yes, he did. That's a mouse. No, it's not. It's a mouse or a rat, yeah. Where did he get it? Where? It had to been inside somewhere. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna throw. Ah! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! No, it's not. It looks like it is. It is, no, it is. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Move, move, move. Oh my god, I zoom in. It's like. <laughs> it's a rat. It's a baby rat. Yo, what? He must have ate it outside. What do you mean? He threw it up? Yeah, he just threw it up now. No. How? <laughs> Where did he. Oh my god, that's so gross. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Gee, it must have been in his belly for a while. When did he. What? Must have been here. I don't know. You leave him out, right? When he. No, but he was right for my face. Maybe he's inside here. You're a little bit. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. I he was throwing up. Buddy. You good. Look at him. He's like, where are you taking my toy? Good boy. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, give him a tree. Go find something. He's a good boy. Yo, that's so disgusting. This is how. Use a little rat terrier. This is how we're starting our day off, Bobby. Today we have swim class at Goldfish Swim School. As you know, the kids have been going to Goldfish Swim School for two, two and a half years, I feel. Oh, it's, it's, been, it's been a while. Deanna just got on the swim force about a month ago. And if you saw that video, you saw that she was struggling a lot her first time there. She was swimming and then on her eighth what breath, and then she would take a breath at the eighth, what is this? Stroke, there we go. So she'd be swimming and wouldn't come up for air until like the eighth stroke and that's not how you do it. And so we're watching videos and we learned that after every two or three strokes, right? So a lot of people are doing three, right? Is it three or four? So now when we told her, we have to do three strokes and then take for breath, holy guacamole it was a life changer for her it's so much better she ha was, hasn't been struggling she's not crying she improved the second class and here's a clip But also the folks at Goldfish Swim School sent me an email. They connected with one of their Goldfish Swim School ambassadors, an Olympic swimmer, Ryan Murphy. The world record, but it was. In the first vlog where Buddha, Viana, you know, had her first swim class, she was crying in tears, didn't want to do it anymore. And I'm not the kind of parent that's gonna be like, okay, no, she doesn't want to do it. I'm gonna just take her out. Gunner, same thing with Gunner. Gunner was crying for two months straight every time he was going to swim class after he almost drowned during the summer when we went camping. He was crying because he didn't want to go swim anymore. And I'm like, I pushed him. I encouraged him. I'm like, no, this is okay, puppy. You know, we, we, we have to try again. Try, try, try. And so many people would just be like, okay, no, I'm just gonna take my kid out because they're crying, this and that. And I don't allow my kids to quit. I'm very pushy. Um, I like to say encouraging. <laughs> if you just let your kids quit at, at the second that they start tearing and crying and wanting to quit, then they're not going to learn that, okay, life is hard and you have to push through everything, you know? So that's just a little, a little advice for you guys, I think. <laughs> Come here. We have an Olympic swimmer, Ryan Murphy, sent you a special message. Oh my god, an Olympic swimmer. Olympic swimmer. Oh my god. Oh. You, you can be an Olympic swimmer oh one day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Okay, do, do you want to watch it? I just can gonna... break the world record. One day, yeah. <laughs> Poor dog, choked out. Hey Ziana, this is Ryan Murphy, Goldfish Swim School Ambassador. Olympic swimmer training out of California. So I heard that you are making the transition from your introductory swim lessons into swim force and, and that that first meet, that first practice was, was, a, was a bit of a challenge. And I think that is completely normal. I, I remember 
every time I aged up in, in the sport of swimming, every time I had to join a new group, I hated it. I hated the first couple of weeks every time because the learning curve is is steep. And uh, and there were a lot of kids in the group that, that have been swimming in that group for a long time. So it made me feel pretty insecure and, and like I wasn't good at the sport. Um, but, I, but I think the, the biggest thing that that I did in, in that time was, was just take, take things day by day, just little by little, get competitive with, with the people in the group, learn something new each practice, come back every day looking for something to improve on. And, and ultimately that, that led me to, to reach a lot of my goals in the sport. And even it, it enhanced my, my social life too. Being able to be comfortable in the water opened up a ton of activities for me. Uh, and, and I know you're, you're in New York, so there's a little bit less water, but there's still a lot of water. And, uh, and a lot of my best, my best memories growing up were, were going boating with friends, going to the beach. Uh, and, and I really relish those memories. So I hope you decide to stick with it. Uh, it's a really awesome sport. There's really great people in the sport and, and keep your head up. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. I'm literally talking to an Olympic swimmer. An Olympic swimmer. A swimmer. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is a this is a miracle. <laughs> and maybe one day if you become an Olympic swimmer, you could give advice and help other people that are, that were scared like you, right? And encourage them. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the one by my name, and it was just like such like a, it's like almost like, you almost feel numb. Gotta open it. Go. Gunner, ready? Yeah. Alright, Gunner, Gunner. Aw, look at Big Sister. There he goes, the little gunner, all by himself. Oh my god, the coach told him come and he came. Woo! Yay! <laughs> you see, persistence. There we go. There we go. Look at those arms. Oh. He's a little too excited. <laughs>
not moving. Slow, that's slow. It's 11. Whoa. Okay, so how was swim class today? Good. Good. Good? Yeah, I saw you struggling a little bit, Buddha. Yeah. Because I was tired in my legs and breathing was tired. <laughs> but you've improved. That's a plus. Yep. Every time you go, you're going to improve a little by little, right? Not all at once, right? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> and my hair is white. What would you call this, babe? A poof. I came in straight now it's a poof, a curl. It's hot. I'm telling you when I was in there filming and sweating, drenched. I probably smell too. I think that's beach waves. Yeah. Oh, look at you know about beach waves. <laughs> I like your hair, it's cute. Yeah, it's not, oh, it's cute things. You guys make me feel so good about myself. <laughs> With that, Miss Nigo, thank you so much for watching. Te quiero te adoro. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and Thank you so much for watching, mis amigos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely comment below. It will help us on YouTube. And until next time, adios! adios.